cheers to hopefully not messing anything up. <laughs> We haven't messed anything up yet, but the conversion has only begun. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. What is up everybody? Day two of demolition. We are on the way to Emily's parents' house right now to go ahead and get started on what exactly is on the agenda today. So today we're gonna try and take down the handicap ramp and look into the wiring on that, see if we can figure out where those wires are connected. We are going to take down the back wall and potentially take off the stickers that are on the outside of the bus. What else do we have? And then I may look at possibly doing a rust treatment. We're going to see if I have everything I need to make sure I do this safely. And look around and just see some of the rust that's here, just on the surface. We just wanted to also share a moment just to say we appreciate all the support that we've received from starting our videos. We've already been welcomed to the community uh, by a lot of people already who have also been doing their own school bus conversions or van conversions. We're hoping to meet up with these people at School of Palooza, already trying to make some events and plans, but that doesn't mean that we have to actually get done with our conversion. <laughs> so with that being said, let's get to work. She's undoing one of these. One of the many, many bolts. Wires slash maybe a hose slash probably a wire things. I think I'm the best handy woman ever. It's in the way, but oh. it works. <laughs> Something popped off. All right, everybody, so I am on the underside of the bus. If you guys remember, these little guys right here uh, from the previous video. That's not good. I accidentally cut the back end heater and AC coolant fluid hoses. So I'm gonna try and trace these back to where they're actually coming from. So we can disconnect them and drain them out fully this time versus creating a, a mess in Emily's parents' driveway. I'm sorry. All right, so we have disconnected all of the bolts that were in here. Trying to get the tubes out. And so. Ryan is trying to get these different hoses unhooked. Yeah. Like these, because they're keeping us from taking this box out. Okay. Because we need the box out to get the lift out. All right, so for those of you 
fact that do not know me, I am not a handyman at all. It's just, it's not my thing, never been my thing. I'd rather pay somebody to do it. Emily insisted that we do this ourselves, which I tried to fight at the beginning, but figured out that I needed this. I have to have an understanding of every bit of this bus. So in case anything happens to us when we're on the road, we know how to fix it. All right guys, so I successfully got this extra AC heater unit, all of the hooks and bolts, screws, wherever those are, they're all out, they're all gone. So it should. Thank you. That's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. What all have you been doing? Uh, I cut a bunch of hose. <laughs> you cut a bunch of hose? Okay. I gotta cut these hose off. <laughs> yeah, you better cut these hose off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. What'd you do? I don't know. I don't know. It was supposed to be all hose. All right, well, I gotta go assess the damage up top. Is it all over my face? Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> Back to work. <laughs> so, this is the next best thing. <laughs> Hours of wrenching. <laughs> that was so gross. <laughs> it got everywhere. I just took a shower. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm glad I had these glasses on. I would have just. I think I'd be blind. <laughs> I just got so much in my ear. Did <laughs> you? Yeah, there's a lot of these things. Yeah, there's, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Are you guys performing surgery under there? Yeah, we're trying to get the dang. We're testing my upper body strength. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're trying to get out some of the screws for the, uh, the handicap thing. You know, Gary said he could take this out for us too, and we said no because we wanted to try and sell it. <laughs> More of the story if somebody wants to take it out for you, let them. Yeah. <laughs> nice job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I probably got it all over my forehead. Oh yeah, you do. Most of it's rust. It accentuates your wrinkle. <laughs> yeah. You know, you don't have to worry about it if you get tennis shot. <laughs> well, I think everything is going pretty well so far. If any of you shuttle bus lifers have any tips and tricks for the wiring, that would be greatly appreciated. Somebody should make a, make a YouTube video on how to yeah, wire some, a bus. Yeah, it's not gonna be us because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> no, it'd we're be- just pulling different it, colored wires It'd be out. a spinning in circles and just unplugging a bunch of randoms. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I could give you a hug, but I'm gross. <laughs> yeah. 
looks like the state of South Carolina. <laughs> Demolition, babe, how are you feeling? Today? I am extremely beaten up. <laughs> yeah. My hands are messed up. I uh, cut myself, I don't know how many times. I'm proud that I was actually able to do some of this work today. Yeah. I got down and dirty and I didn't complain. I did it. No. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Today was very productive. Yeah. We were able to knock out. We got the wheelchair ramp out. We did. Props to Ryan because he sat under the bus for a good like two hours yep. trying to unscrew the bolts we that were <laughs> the um, the ramp was attached with. <laughs> yeah, so we were able to get the ramp out. Yeah. Uh, I did some work underneath on the underside to remove mm -hmm. some of the extra heating and AC coolant that was underneath there. Um, so the next big thing, like we said, tomorrow is going to be getting back after the AC unit, getting yeah. that yanked out, making sure that uh, we're actually going to have to follow some of the wiring through the flooring. So we may have to remove yeah. a section of the floor tomorrow. We don't have a lot of experience in this field, but we're able to still do it somehow and like figure it out <laughs> as we go along. Like that's the, that's the coolest thing about it is like if you don't know how to do something, then just figure it out. Well, look it up. <laughs> I think the best part about it is that this is going to be our home for at yeah. least the next year. And that means that we're going to understand every square inch of it. Yes. We almost got hit by a car. <laughs> I mean, that was just, that was just ridiculous. Um, anyways, I was saying, <laughs> whenever we started this, I felt extremely helpless uh, when it came to the actual car itself just because yeah. I didn't have a full understanding. I'm not a technician, mechanic. Uh, I don't know how to work half of the stuff that's in there, but mm -hmm. as we're gradually pulling stuff out, I'm seeing what it went to and making sure that, you know, what we need is still actually in there. Uh, yeah. I think that by the time that we get done with the demolition, we're going to know every square inch of the bus. So oh, therefore, yeah. we're going to know what to be able to build into it to make sure it's exactly what we want. Thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't already, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next week when we rip up the floors and make sparks fly.